Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams Tutorial Series, you are going to learn how to create roadmap with six milestones. The diagram you are going to learn today looks like this. First, you have the roadmap coming in and on each click you have a part of the roadmap and the associated milestone explained. So here is another click and I have the second point third milestone, fourth milestone, fifth milestone and the sixth milestone explained. It's a very simple but very beautiful diagram to create and I'll show you how to create this from scratch by going to a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu and under Basic Shapes you will find this tool called as Block Arc Tool. Click on it and while holding the Shift button draw the arc. You can move the yellow handle to the right to thin, uh, to uh, narrow the width of this uh, shape. And you can always move this yellow handle down to extend the circle. Now I'm going to do something. I'm going to move this yellow handle to make sure that this edge corresponds with this point here. So I am going to slightly make the adjustment. Yeah, that looks good. Now we have got one segment drawn. If you are, if you feel that the um, shape is slightly thicker, you can use something like this and you can um, reduce the size by holding the shift button and pulling in the corners. Now once you are done with this, the next thing I am going to do is to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Ctrl C is to copy and Ctrl V is to paste. Now with this done, I am going to rotate this by 90 degrees. Now this is once and then twice. So rotate it to 180 degrees. There is another way you can do it. You can actually have it um, flipped vertical and that will also work. So I am going to keep this here. Now let me take both of this. Ctrl G. And I'm going to keep this here. You can keep the keep extending it for as long as you want. Now, since I'm going to create only with six milestones, I am going to stop it here. Stop it here. You can make uh, minor adjustments in case you think that uh, the edges are not properly aligning. And once you are done with all this, then you can ungroup them so that each element is uh, on its own. Now the last step is to make sure that you give some color to each of these and then add the milestones. To add the milestone what you're going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu once again and you're going to use this tool, oval tool to draw a circle. Make sure that the size of the circle is small enough to fit snugly between uh, I mean right inside this bend and you know, that is how we have created our diagram. Now I'm going to make copies of this and the way I'm doing it is I'm holding the control button while I am dragging the shape to its new location. That automatically creates a copy of this and then it is kept in the new place. A copy of this. Okay so now we are done with this. The next thing is to give a different color to each one of them. For this I am going to choose a particular method and that is I am going to use a darker variation of a color which is the color of the milestone taken from the quick style. So this is how it is. For example I have taken this green as the color of the milestone and I am going to have the road to have a darker color. It is up to you. There is there is no hard and fast rule for something like this. So let us say I am going to choose uh, this color, aqua color. And for this, the corresponding darker color would be this. And the same way, if we take orange, the corresponding darker color would be this. The same way you can go ahead and uh, complete it. You don't really bother about giving the right color there. You can always make the adjustment depending on the final outcome. And there we are, it is done. If you want to make 
these milestones stand out you can select all of them go to shape effects preset and go to preset 2 now that makes the milestones look very beautiful now to add a number you just click on it and press 1 it is always a good idea to choose a bolder font like say Arial Black I usually use Arial Black for uh, all the numbers because they really come out beautifully so here I can have as big as this or something smaller than this one so one and then all that is left to do is to write some text here you can replace this sample text with your own text now I'm going to keep this right here maybe you can have it in two lines and there it is now you complete the same procedure for the rest of it and you place them alternatively and all that is left for you to do finally is to uh, select the right sequence to animate it and you will get the diagram that we have shown you so that is how you create roadmap with six milestones diagram now as you can see it is one thing to create a diagram and it is another thing to bring it to life using custom animation and I want to show you some example templates that uh, the templates that take the idea of goal achievement milestones along the way etc the first is this one where we talk about how one idea has been able to cross the barriers while other ideas have failed so this is the barrier and you can talk about the nature of the barrier here you can talk about the first idea that failed and the second idea that failed and all those unsuccessful attempts um, can give you something to talk about and then you have this beautiful idea that helps you cross the barrier that is a beautiful concept slide here completely animated you just have to change these text to uh, suit your own style let us talk about another one which talks about breakthrough here here is the target and there are four different kinds of obstacles the first obstacle the, some ideas have gone to some extent and many ideas have tried to penetrate the various obstacles but then none of them have been able to uh, be none of them were strong enough to reach the target and then you talk about this final breakthrough idea which has helped you to break through all the barriers and reach the target let me show you another example this one is about steps to goal here is the goal and here is the person who is who aspires to reach the goal and then we talk about the various steps to reach the goal and you can observe how the color of these steps change with each of these uh, on click here the second one second point here and there it is and third step and you have the corresponding step being highlighted here and so on so that is another way you can use custom animation so as you can see here custom animation can really add that element of interest and dynamism to the slides and especially when you create e-learning content where you need to keep the attention of audience uh, in, um, held for a long time then custom animated templates can really help if you think that it takes a lot of time to create custom animated templates uh, custom animated presentations you can always go in for our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates for PowerPoint you can choose any of the templates from among 630 that are available you can replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality animated slides has never been easier hope you like the tutorial on creating roadmap with six milestones in PowerPoint if you want to learn more such tutorials if you want to read more articles to improve your presentation skills or PowerPoint skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you have just seen you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting